jnk family it's your girl jalicia back again with another video y'all and today y'all spend the day with me your girl is have a interview today so i have on this outfit but i think i should change this first and put this back on so i i'm planning on going to the gym today so going to the gym this morning here's carter right here y'all don't mind my bed but Carter is right here. I'm about to get ready to take him to school. So I think I'm going to go to the gym first. And after the gym, I'm going to go to the interview because the interview is at one o'clock. So I might as well go to the gym, work out, and then go, um, look at Carter. And then go to the interview, y'all. But this is what I'm wearing to the interview. So let me take this off, put on my workout clothes, and then put these clothes back on when the interview is on. All right, y'all. So I just made it to Planet Fitness. This is my very first time going to this Planet Fitness. I hope that it's a wonderful experience coming in here. They are open 24 hours, 12 a.m. to Monday through Friday, 9 p.m. Saturday and Sunday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And it says join and save only ten dollars per month. But come with me in here to exercise, y'all. Oh, I'm in here. Here's what I got on. I got my waist trainer on. I gotta give me another waist trainer because yeah. But here, here I am. I, I don't know. This thing is coming out. Waist trainer. Here I am, ready to go out. Got my waist trainer on. Y'all, you're gonna really need this. Like you're gonna need to start working out. Like, so let it turn. I really do. I really want to do just a Skywalker. I, I think it's called a Skywalker. I just walk up the stairs, the little stairs thing that's in here, and actually lose some weight. But y'all, let me show you what it has. They got restaurants in here, of course. Here's how it's looking. Um, they have showers. You you want shower after you're done. And they have like things where you can put your stuff inside of. A little locker for you to just like start the start of. But I'm about to go ahead and start, y'all. I'm so hot and so tired and I haven't even been here for a full 30 minutes yet. Your girl is tired. But I'm about to get ready to get on this stairwalker thing. Oh my god, I just got off of it. Baby, I am tired. But come on. Y'all, I'm about to go I'm really trying not to complain, but I am like, I'm way too tired. I'm hot. It's not easy, like, it's not, I swear it's not, bro. I'm I was trying to start off with the stair walker for like 45 minutes, or at least 30 minutes. Y'all, I couldn't even get 10 minutes in. Better get five. That's it's tiring, bro. It's so tiring. Normally, when I come to the gym, I just go to the treadmill. And baby, this time I said I want to do the stairwalker. I just walk the stairwalker for 45 minutes. This is what I want to do every day, or at least four days out of the week, because it's going to help me lose weight. I can feel it. I'm tired, y'all. Sleepy. And I'm trying my best, okay? I had to come in the break room and sit down and actually just sit down right quick because I left my car and my water in the car so I might have to go back to the car and get the water because I'm trying to stay here for an hour. It's so hard. I swear. As y'all can see your girl is sweating. But 
um, your girl got some pounds that I need to lose and I need to eat healthy on top of that. I know it's gonna be hard, but I wanna be able to eat healthy but not like be strict on myself, you get what I'm saying? I got music playing in my ear while I'm um, working out. I'm just tired, y'all. I'll get that with y'all. All right, y'all. So basically, I just made it back in the car, and your girl is tired. Um, I've only been there for 30 minutes, y'all. I have to get back used to the gym. I have to get back used to doing this because I used to do it, but I stopped. You know, I haven't worked out in a long time. I've been eating unhealthy, so it don't caught up with me. And me just trying to go back to the gym just out of nowhere, it's like a change for my body. You get what I'm saying? In my mind. So, I'm really just trying to be consistent with this. Change the way I eat. And, like, um, not fully change the way I eat. But, like, I want to, like, I want to be able to, like, um, portion what I'm eating. Portion my food and stuff like that. Cause your girl like have gained weight and I really want to lose it and y'all it's so it's I ain't gonna lie it's kind of challenging. Um, my first time going back to the gym, I was only able to stay thirty minutes, y'all. I feel like I was about to faint, so I'm definitely trying to go like four days a week so that I can get used to it. I got my bottle of water right here. I'm about to get ready to drink it, but that's basically basically how today really was. Um, I have an interview today for this um. It's a, uh, hold on, what type of place it is? It's a warehouse job. So, um, it's a warehouse job that I have an interview at. So, I was going to go, I'm going up there, um, and it, the time now is 11.43. I'm looking at my watch. And I, the interview is until 1.15. So, I really don't know what I'm about to do until the end, but I'm about to, like, um, I really should have stayed in the freaking gym because I really need to. But I was just so tired, y'all. I didn't want to wear myself to death my first try, my first time going back. You get what I'm saying? Because I was planning on staying for an hour, at least an hour. Your girl only stayed for 30 minutes. But I feel like I got, I feel, I feel like I stayed for two hours. Like, that's how hot and, like, tired I was. Breathing hard. Like, my heart, my, it was like, oh, my God. It was just too much. But I definitely am planning on going back. And I'm going to take y'all with me when I go back. Um, that's really everything. I'll let y'all know when I put on my clothes and go to this, um, this interview. But the thing is, I'm not able to go all the way back to the house. If I go back all the way back to the house, I'm going to be late for the interview probably. Um, because I really did want to take a shower before I go. Because I don't want to be smelling like no sweat in no interview. Um, I'll let y'all know. So I literally put my clothes on in the car and I went in there and did the interview y'all. I literally just got done with the interview and she was asking me a couple questions like like what made you choose this job? What do you know about working at a warehouse? Um where was your last job? Tell you tell us about you like you know like how how did you used to work? It was I y'all interviews freeze me up. I be freezing up on interviews like i don't know why but they are literally hiring y'all outside this window right here they have a big sign that say now hiring now hiring like they hiring bad but i found this job by like a uh, city refuge it's like a um people who like 
have open interviews with a lot of different jobs in this one building on one day like they'll post it it's called city of refuge and they does it they do it sometime but this is how i found this job and i don't know like i don't know she said if i get the job that i'm gonna get a message in my email letting me know to come in for the second interview y'all why is it a second interview oh my gosh so she said if i come in i mean if i get an email saying come in for the second interview dm i gotta come in for the second interview to see if i got the job but if i get an email saying i'm sorry we were not like able to go on with this process or something like that then i didn't get the job so or but um what i was about to say but the fact that basically if i get a message saying i come in for the second interview it still doesn't mean i got the job it just means like you come in for the second interview you gotta talk to she said i have to talk to some more like other people and this is a warehouse job why is y'all doing all that but i literally just got done with the interview y'all <sighs> I, I mean, I want to get the job, but I'm not, like, pressuring, like, I'm not pressuring if I get the job or not. I really, like, I want to get the job because I don't really be doing anything throughout the day, really, but, like, making YouTube videos or I, like, go to the gym, like, I'm starting to go to the gym. I might do DoorDash here and there. I haven't been doing DoorDash like that because the money ain't talking for real. Um... But yeah, y'all, I'm about to, I just, I'm done with the interview. I'm about to probably do some DoorDash now since I'm really not doing anything. So yeah. Y'all, I'm so glad I got a camera. I'm able to still get on my phone at the same time. But yep, y'all, I have so much in store. God has so much in store for me. So like, if it's not meant for me to get a job, God would not even allow me to get a job. Because I really feel like it's been stopped for me to get a job anyway. I just been like trying to get a little job just to make a little extra money. Because y'all know I make, of course y'all know, YouTube, I make a little income with that. But, I've been trying to get like little extra income, you know what I'm saying? Um, yes, I try Uber and Lyft. I know a lot of y'all probably in the comments gonna be like, girl, just try Uber and Lyft. Y'all probably gonna, girl, just try Uber and Lyft. I applied for uh, Lyft, they didn't accept me. I applied for Uber. It's been like three weeks now, they still trying to do background check and they ain't got nothing on my background. But y'all, this is why I got on. It's it's really hot out here, y'all. It's, it's it says it's 59 degrees, but it feel like 79 degrees. Okay, um, this is the place, y'all. I'm literally about to get ready to leave, though. Um, I'll let y'all know if I get the job or when I come in for my second interview. I'll let y'all know. But I'm finna to go do some some Zoys Okay. Hey, y'all. I forgot to show y'all who I got with me. I got my TT baby with me. Yeah. Hey, TT. My TT is so bored. See, I was trying to do some DoorDash with him, y'all, but I couldn't. I can't take him in the place, take him to the person house. Look at my TT. My TT is six months, y'all. Look at him. This is Onyx, my sister baby. Y'all, I've been keeping Onyx, well... I little this is my very first time keeping onyx and when I say onyx has gave me the runs for my money okay and not literally for my money but he have gave me the runs y'all he have literally he reminded me not to have another baby no time soon so girl girl wait wait what do you wait wait Carter is enough right now I ain't thinking about no another child okay he literally reminded me to wait, to wait, girl, wait, 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 because baby, my mental and another baby, I would probably lose my mind because, um, babies are not hard to deal with. It's just sometimes, like last night, I had okay, I had Ernest last night, and y'all, basically, he was sleepy, but I forgot, you know, when I, I look, I. I had a newborn three years ago, okay? And basically, I had just changed his diaper. I didn't know that that quick he had pooped. And I gave him a bottle, took him a bath. I did everything, y'all. And I'm wondering why in the world is he's crying and he up? It's 2 in the morning. Why are you crying and you up? Y'all, I literally lost my mind. I started crying and stuff. I wanted to keep him... 
but I just like, I forgot about that part. Like I forgot when I had Carter, I used to cry when he was a newborn. Cause I used to be like, what's wrong with him? I took him a bath. I gave him a warm bottle, changed his diaper, gave him attention, watched, turned on the TV. Like I literally did everything and he was still crying when he was a newborn. So I just was going through that with Undies last night. It kind, of, it kind of reminded me like, girl, just don't even think about having another baby right now. Wait to card about five, six years old and then have another baby. But right now it's not the time. So I'm going to wait and I'm going to stay on my birth control. Okay. But my TT back there with me. We're about to get ready. I know this vlog is like probably all over the place, y'all. But this is like a couple days later, actually. A couple days later. Um, your girl is taking her nails off. Like, my nails are literally, like, coming off one by one. And look at this hand. It's coming off one by one. But I'm about to get ready. I want to get my nails done again, but I don't know when. I actually need my hair done again, too. But I really want to go to Little Caesars. If y'all haven't seen on TikTok the new, the Little Caesars pups, I want to try them with y'all. I want y'all to see me try them. Um, they are four of them. They give you little small pups, um... Four, four of them for four dollars so basically one dollar each basically so y'all gonna get ready to call me to do that um i'm about to get onyx ready i don't think he's hungry he already ate he drink um infamil this milk right here he's but he drink this right here and i just make it into his bottle but I'm about to get him ready right quick. And we're about to go down here. Plus, I need to go to my grandmother's house to get my clothes. Um, Because I love my grandma, y'all. She was so nice to wash my clothes for me. So, I'm about to go get my clothes from her house. And I'll let y'all know when I get to the seasons and everything. Y'all, I got my TT right here. And we're here, we're at the Little Caesars right now. So let's hope they got the pups because a lot of places have been running out of them because TikTok got it going crazy. Look at my TT, y'all. They are $3.99, hot and ready, crazy pups. And here's how they look. Hey, y'all. So I literally just left out of the place. This, this is the little box that it come in. <laughs> they are called Crazy Pups from Little Caesars. So I'm gonna give them a try with y'all. It come with four of them in there, like I said, four of them for four dollars. Um, I added this sauce with it. I don't even know why they give us this big old thing for like for just four of them, but anywho. Um, it came up to because I added this, it came up to five dollars and thirty-nine cents. So I had to go ahead and try. I'm, I'm about to try this with y'all. And I'm going to let y'all know how it tastes. I got pepperoni because I personally eat pepperoni pizza. But I got the air on for my TT back here so he won't be hot while I'm doing this video real quick. But this sauce is good. This is, I think it's marinara sauce. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. It's like crazy sauce. So pepperoni crazy uh, puffs is what these called, but these are this is the crazy sauce. But I think this is regular uh, marinara sauce. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, y'all. Don't come for me. But I'm about to try this right quick. It's hot too. They said hot and ready, y'all. As soon as I paid, literally, he had it ready for me. They got the pepperoni on the inside of it, y'all. Mm. Okay, too. Mm. Mm. Y'all look at the pepperoni on the inside of it. Yeah. The cheese cheesing now. 
Mm. It's good, good y'all. It really. Um. It really tastes like regular pepperoni pizza, but just in a puff. But it kind of tastes good. Like it tastes good, y'all. It tastes good. This is definitely a ten out of ten. Y'all, tell me why it is eighty-two degrees outside today. It's traffic outside. Like what is going on? It's traffic. I mean, we about to be in traffic for a minute. I just can't believe it. I'm right here listening to music. I got my TT back there sleeping, but y'all, it is traffic. And this don't even make no sense. Like, come on, Atlanta. Y'all need to stop coming to Atlanta or we need to leave Atlanta. Some, one or the other, like, which one? But, yes, y'all, it's like traffic, okay? Hey, y'all, your girl is back. I um, uh, Y'all probably like, girl, this video is all over the place, but I just got back to the house. I got just got out the shower. And I decided that I wanted to open up these Amazon packages, y'all. I just went to my door and, like, I was leaving, coming back in the house. And I saw two packages at the door. And I'm like, I didn't order anything. So, where did this come from? So, it caught me by surprise. And I'm guessing it came, well, I know for a fact that it came from one of you guys. That ordered from my Amazon wish list. So, I have this box. And I have this box. So we're about to open up this stuff. Y'all about to open up this stuff with me. Um, I'm just so thankful. I'm grateful for everything that you guys have purchased from me from my Amazon wish list. It's definitely clutch and it's definitely being used. I really don't know what this is because I don't even remember the stuff I have on my Amazon wish list, y'all. Like y'all haven't been really purchasing from my Amazon wish list, and I haven't had anything to add on there. Like y'all really got everything that I needed. So I didn't even know some good stuff left on there, y'all. But y'all can look up this stuff with me, y'all. And yeah. Alright. So let's start with this box. Is that I, just, I know I just had to see. I don't know where it is though. Bible tab. So, y'all know I have a Bible, of course. And your girl wanted, like, uh, like, let me show y'all. So like this. Like if I'm reading Psalms, I want to know that I'm reading Psalms. Or like, let me show y'all. Hold on. So this is like, this is Matthew. So it says Matthew. It says Jeremiah, Isaiah. And I like put them inside the Bible. Like not inside, but like hanging out the outside like but like a book reader or something like that but here is all of the names that's in the bible so that i can separate them and i think the rest of these are like for decor <laughs> it's actually so cute y'all look at it this is really really cute y'all and i'm gonna i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it i really want to make a video of, of y'all of y'all seeing me do it and then it just came with this little book reader. It says, act justly, love mercy, walk humbly with God. So yeah, y'all, thank y'all so much for who purchased this from my Amazon wish list. It's definitely clutch. Um, yeah, this is that. Oh, it's a 100 Bible tabs. That's what it's called from Amazon. They gave me a letter. It says, enjoy your gift from Sharon Johnson. Thank you so much, Sharon. And it says, enjoy your gift. So proud of you. Continue to draw near near to Christ. I wanted to send you a New Living Translation Bible, but it would not let me add it on. Love you from Sharon Johnson. 
So I'm, thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, I would add it on there if you would like to purchase it, but I've never heard of the New Living Translation. Is it like a more understanding Bible? Like what type of Bible is it? Because I never heard of that. Uh, someone purchased this. It's a dresser storage with three fabric uh, draw drawers. Let me show y'all how it looks. So I don't want to open it all the way up right now. Because it's a lot that I have to put together. But it looks like this. <laughs> and this is, for, this is for Carter's room. So this is actually Carter's. So I can put all of his clothes inside of here. He have another one that you guys purchased from my Amazon wish list. But all of his clothes cannot fit in there. Y'all, Carter has so many clothes and shoes and stuff. So um this definitely clutch thank you so much sharon um for purchasing this purchasing this for my amazon with wish list i definitely love you i appreciate you and i thank y'all so much for the support i'm about to get ready to open up the next package Purchase the same thing twice. How did how did that even happen? Oh, it says Sharon Johnson purchased two of these. It says you purchased two of these, Sharon. Here's the other one. So it's one right here and one right here, y'all. Oh my god. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I really don't know how that happened, but I could use one and Carter can use one or I could try to send it back, but I don't know how to really do all that when it comes to an Amazon wish list. Um, due to the fact that it's not my purchase, I'm not sure, but if I can get in touch with them, I would send one of them back and then try to trade it out for something else. Um, or I could just use one and Carter could use one. I appreciate you so much. I appreciate all of you guys who has purchased something from my wish list once again. Um, I don't really have anything extra to add on there. I know someone else just told me to add something. I cannot remember what it was. But to add something for my Amazon wish list that y'all wanted to purchase. Also, oh my gosh. The P.O. Box thing is really hard. Like, okay, let me tell y'all. So, I think I already told y'all. But um, the P.O. Box place near me with a mail place near me usps is like a lot of people packages come on missing at that location so i've been looking for another location that's near me but not too far you get what i'm saying um that is great customer service people stuff don't come on missing because i don't want to get a p.o box at that location and then a lot of y'all packages and stuff that y'all send for me come up missing so um, y'all have been very patient with me, but please give me a little bit more time on it because I know y'all want to see me some stuff. Um, also, I'm going to start like doing like promotions, like promoting people, businesses and stuff. Um, I'm just getting out there. I'm taking it step by step. I really, really appreciate y'all for this opportunity. I appreciate God for this opportunity and appreciate you guys for supporting me. Um, yeah, y'all, that's really everything. That's, that's really everything. Um, if y'all, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure y'all like the video, comment, and subscribe. Press the notification bell so you can be notified every time I drop a video. I love you guys. I know your girl is sweating. I just got out of the shower. But I love you guys. I thank you guys so much for the support. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.